Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man. And uh, I'm in the high desert today. I'm, uh, I'm going to one of my favorite places to hang out and hike at and stuff. And the reason why is because I'm doing a very special cigar today and I wanted to do it in a special kind of way. So this is just for Brian at Provada Cigar Club. And today we are reviewing the Room 101 PCC exclusive, the very first exclusive for Provada Cigar Club. Stick around. All right, guys, sound might be off a little bit on this because I don't have my mic connected to my phone. I'm trying to talk a little louder so that everything comes through good. But uh, we're taking a little hike right now to an area where I've actually done quite a bit of uh, filming and marketing pictures for High Desert Man. And it's just a really cool place. But it's basically a big, big giant cliff that during monsoon season turns into a massive waterfall and it's a really cool area but uh, just kind of wanted to get out uh, get out into the old uh, lab of the Almighty today and uh, out of my lab do something kind of different and special I got the boys with me my dogs Mickey and Shoto He's a little scrapper. All right, guys, uh, I don't have too far to go, probably a few hundred yards to get to uh, the cliff. So I will see you again in just a few moments. This probably end up being a short video because it's going to be, uh, I didn't bring a tripod with me or anything. I'm just trying to makeshift some stuff. But here we go. It's the Pravada Cigar Club Room 101 exclusive. It is a 6x46 Parejo, traditional uh, round type cigar. And um, I'll tell you what, guys. <clears throat> it really 
it, you do justice to the cigar to once in a while take it out and look at it in the natural sunlight. This cigar looks so different than it did in my house, uh, in my humidor. It looked a lot darker, but it's a beautiful Colorado, Colorado color. I mean, this is true Colorado. So the details on the cigar. It has an HVA wrapper, which is a, a Cuban seed hybrid or a Cuban hybrid seed, uh, Habano. Uh, the binder is Sumatra and the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican um, Corojo 98 and Criollo. And uh, th there were only 2,000 of these made, only for the Provada Cigar Club members. So it's kind of a bummer. If it's a good cigar, then uh, we're never going to see it again, um, assumedly. And it says Provada Cigar Club 2017 on it there. <clears throat> it has the PCC logo and the Room 101 Matt Booth skull logo, which is pretty cool. It's pretty, I mean, it really just looks like it was painted on regular paper and, and taped on here or, or glued on here. Um, nothing fancy about the band. But uh, let's give it a cut. I'm going with a deep V. Mm. Wow, the draw is almost too easy. I hope it's. Uh, I hope it smokes well. Yeah, it's like sucking through a McDonald's straw. Um, it is a beautiful cigar. It's just got. It's got some veininess to it and stuff. There's a little, little, that probably happened in my humidor to be honest, a little uh, split or chip there in the in the wrapper leaf. But other than that, it's just a gorgeous cigar. And uh, man, the color is just beautiful. Uh, the wind is blowing out here, so hopefully I can get this thing lit without issue. Let's see here. Boys! I'm not getting much of anything off the body at all. Good boys. The foot smells like sweet hay, like fresh, fresh cut hay, and uh, maybe a little bit of coffee. Wow, I just filled my lighter up, so it's, hi buddy, how you doing? Right, the draw is the draw is way too easy. It needs a little bit of resistance. Wow, puts off smoke though. Whoa, it's got some heavy spice, a lot of wasabi in the nose right off the bat. It's got some uh, <clears throat> good earthy flavors um, not not that dark rich earth that I usually talk about but it's it's more likened to uh, the kind of earth that you get off of a uh, Connecticut Connecticut shade wrapper usually but not quite as it's not as off-putting as that is for me Real quick, uh, update on High Desert Man stuff. Um, May May 6th through 10th, or technically 5th through 10th, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas. Um, I've got some company training I've got to do there. Um, and I'm going to go see Martin Amaya from <clears throat> Martin Amaya Cigar Reviews. And I'm going to go see some family and stuff. My my uh, One of my uncles lives out there. The brother to the uncle who makes the heritage humidors 
lives in Dallas, so I'm going to go see him. That's my Uncle Al. He's awesome. And, uh, and then uh, just a couple days before that, the, the second through the, through the fifth, Hey, boys! All right, guys, I don't know where I left off. Uh, somebody found a backpack down there and uh, kind of looked in it, looked fresh, so I, I left it alone. Uh, but there was uh, some guy came up and my dogs went to investigate. And I uh, chatted with this guy for a little while. He's, he does a lot of hiking around this area. He's from Phoenix. And uh, luckily he's, he's one of the good people. I don't want people knowing about this place uh, too much because they'll, they'll pollute it. But um, anyways, we're going to get into the cigar ways and uh, we'll be back in a while. Really good smoke, guys. This now it did burn kind of wonky on me all the way through the stick. However, that was not because of the stick. It was because of the wind. Uh, there's a lot of wind out here, boys. There's a lot of wind out here, and uh, you know, so it, it kind of caused my cigar to burn wonky and stuff. But man, it's it it tastes like a Matt Booth cigar. A lot of smoke. The easy draw wasn't really a problem through this cigar. Now let's talk about the flavors. This it it remained pretty consistent. That, meaning the flavors didn't really change throughout the stick. Um, and I got primarily three distinct flavors off of this all the way through. That was cedar, citrus and smoked paprika and the only reason why I know what smoked paprika is like is because uh, last week I was going through our spice cabinet <clears throat> and I saw a bottle of something that I hadn't seen before picked it up and it was smoked paprika and I was like oh that's crazy I don't didn't even know they made smoked paprika so yeah I mean I got smoked paprika off this cigar it was crazy and uh, the citrus I would say the citrus was, reminded me most of a grapefruit, uh, kind of a, a grapefruit. Yeah, I mean it was grapefruit. So cedar, citrus, and uh, cedar, grapefruit, and smoked paprika. <laughs> Very interesting cigar. It's a shame that we're not going to get any more of these. The retro hail gives you a punch of wasabi in the nose every single time. I mean, all the way through the stick. It's just a good bite of, of wasabi in the nose. The flavors through the nose are pretty much the same, but <clears throat> intensified. So nothing really different, but uh, just more intense of the same flavors. Uh, I forgot to bring Brian's uh, tasting notes with me, so I'll probably add a little bit onto the end of this video of what his tasting notes were. But um, man, really good cigar. It's a shame that we're not going to get any more of these unless Matt Booth can pull out something and, and make this sort of a regular. Uh, Alright guys, um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different. Get out in the wild a little bit. This is ranch area. There's, I just, I love this area. It's one of my favorite hangouts.
All right, guys, until the next video, stay rugged.